See if you release some fire with poor breakfast, okay? Yes, sir. Go. Boy, you're coming along. You're a good teacher, Thomas. Run those horses off the Franklin Ranch. You're on my property now, boys. There's a free grazer Mustangs. I got every right. Don't want any trouble, John. You just gotta quit running them off Ike's land. You don't like that. Ain't Ike's the same. It's just a warning. We don't want to come back. Zachary, how's your trapping come along? Still haven't caught me a fox or a kayak. <laughs> Keep trying, boss. You'll snag something sooner or later. Zachary? Charlie! Dragon, you're going faster than a green weed in a fresh buffalo heat. Good morning, Charlie. How are you today? Doing good, Seth. Hey, Billy, you take the front two into the barn and go get yourself some breakfast. Yes, sir. I ain't missed one of your Mary's good meals yet. <laughs> Welcome to Sage Creek. Easy, ma'am. Easy. You're welcome. Miss Stanley. Morning, Rita. Thank you. Still. Thank you. And uh, Chief Justice Stanley, Mrs. Stanley. Howdy, Mary. Welcome to Sage Creek. Thank you very much. Please come in. My father's driver should arrive shortly. Oh, Christopher Allen. Where's the Christmas tree? Well, hello, little one. What is your name? Kit. Uh, not ready to kid. Nice meeting you too, Master Kit. What a perfectly lovely child. I am so sorry. He has gotten to be a handful. About the only one that can handle him is his Grandpa Ike. Oh, there's no need to apologize. Just show me where I can wash off this dreadful prairie dust. Oh, yes, of course. Right this way. Not too much, kid. You forget to say your prayers this morning? Yes, sir. Your mother tells me you don't think it's important anymore. Praying helped me a lot when I was your age. It always helped me find my way, even when I was in doubt. It gives you answers to things you're confused about. 
Helps you find courage when you're afraid. But Grandpa doesn't pray. Well, your grandpa's been through a lot. Sometimes people lose their way, son. You should pray for him. Your mother and I pray for you every night, you and your brother. You do? Sure. Sure, you two are who your mother and I are thankful for the most. Grab a handful of axle grease, we'll doctor up that bay. like the theater? <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I, I saw this play once. Years ago, when I went back east for my studies. An educated girl like you stuck out on this godforsaken prairie? Oh, well, it's, um, it's not quite like that. I, I met my husband, Seth, when he took over the ministry at the church I attended. His first congregation, my First year away from home. Gave it all up to move out west with me. The ministry, his family and friends. Everything he knew and respected. How oh, terribly romantic. <laughs> yes, I... I suppose it is. He tried to make a living working on my father's place, but... Ike, he... Oh, he didn't have the patience. Seth wasn't much of a cattleman anyway. A fish out of water in a big, unfamiliar sea. You know, sometimes life doesn't turn out the way we plan. But you seem to be doing fine, dear. Daniel. We're gonna get those steers into Lusk and sold before Christmas. They're clear to everybody. Yes, sir. You won't leave town until we get top dollar, no exceptions. Mr. Franklin, me and the boys was wondering, well, sir, we wanted to know if you decided to give us Christmas Day off. Some of the men got family, and I think they need that time. We get a day off when those cattle are sold. Christmas is just another working day. Yes, sir. Stock comes first. Too well. That's okay, son. Did you hear that? It's over there. Looks like you have your first coyote. Wait! It's Zachary, wait. Stay back. It's a dog. He likes me. Yeah, he sure does. And he's lucky. And the mesquite root caught most of the teeth. I to be the right thing to do. All right. Almost done. It's okay. Okay. Come on, come on. There you go, fella. What are you gonna name him? I don't know. Hey, you can come up with something, son. I was thinking since it's Christmas time, 
Maybe Nicholas. Hmm. Nicholas. Nicholas. Yeah, I like that. Nicholas it is. <laughs> This is really fine brandy I brought up from the Gulf. Really? Only the best for an old friend. Yeah, thank you. What's that new business you want me to look into, I? John Red Eagle. He used to work for me. Now he's running stock off my land. Stealing cows? Horses. Mustangs. Well. You know, like it's not illegal to herd wild mustangs. He's taking them off my land. I hear you. How long have we known each other, I? <laughs> you know, your Rebecca Ann was a wonderful woman. We all miss her. And I, I know what you've been through. But as a friend, I want to tell you, and I know it's not easy, and I know it's easy to say, but you got to let go. Whatever happened that was bad in the past, just put it behind you. Hell, we all do. The world's changing, and we got to adapt. You can have a good life here, Ike, if you want it. Your daughter and Mary, she's a good mother. Seth, he's a decent husband to her. He's not a rancher. Excuse me? He's not a rancher. Well, we all weren't cut out to be ranchers. I want John Red Eagle off my land. All right. I'll look into it when I get back. In the Lord's name, Mary. Shh. Don't wake the children. It's warm in a minute. I don't remember Kofi being part of our vows. Hold me. Why would you ask such a thing, Mary? I don't know. My life is here with you and the boys. Mm -hmm. I love you, Mary Keller. With all my heart. I know. See, by moving that centering back, we can load more weight on the mare. Sure. I see it. Pa? Mm-hmm? When you was in the army, did you have to kill many Indians? I was a trail guide and a scout for the 5th Cavalry, Samuel. I wasn't a soldier. But you fought Indians, right? I did. Were you ever afraid? War and killing never much agree with me. So sometimes it's necessary. But it wasn't all bad. I did meet your mother at that time, and that's a good thing. You did? I did. Your grandfather's people, the Crow, they found me about half dead down near Sage Creek. I had a real bad running with some hostile Shaheen when I was scouting that area. Your grandfather and your mother, they took me in, cared for me, tended for me, just like I was one of their own. So you see, something good came out of something bad. Yeah. 
to learn something from all life's experiences, son. Good and bad. Takes a lot of strength and spirit to look through a man's hatred and still see his good. Your grandfather told me that. I understand, Pa. That's my girl. When we bead, we pray. We put all of our good thoughts into every one of these beads so that we can do good work. And before we finish, we put in one bead that's different so that our work is flawed because nobody's perfect. Like this? Yes, very good. Samuel. Wood. Better more than less. I really don't like your association with that man. Don't you let your bowels get enough for a mama? You just find your man isn't getting the buck for her. I never seen anybody so full of hate and resentment. He just needs to forget about the past and get on with plain old living. Amen, brother. My driver will take you straight to the railhead at Douglas. All right. Sure good to see you, Ike. Just want what's mine. I understand. I told you I'll look into it when I get there. I'll look into it. Take care of things, son. Okay, Pa. Be safe, my husband. Bye, Chila. Samuel? You be careful out there setting those traps with Zachary. You hear? Yes, sir. Thomas, you find me a good spirit to guide me back home. I will ask if you bring me cigars. Be back in the morning. going. Heading in Lusk for some supplies. Nice riding with her. Mm-hmm. So how are you, Mary? Seth and the boys. Oh, I am fine. We're all fine.
for making me such a fine hunting weapon, Grandfather. Hmm. Will you tell me one of your stories? I am watching a young boy hunting fresh meat for his family. There are many antelope grazing on a steep hillside, many more than the bright stars in the sky. He wants to prove to the men that he is ready to become a mighty hunter. The young boy moves too close. The antelope smell him and run away. Even the swiftest arrows from the strongest hunters cannot reach the antelope. So once again, there will be no fresh meat. The village will have to go without food another day. The young boy will learn a valuable lesson. He cannot become a man in one day's hunt. Who is the young hunter, Grandpa? I was that young boy who was trying to become a man too fast. A man can run into just about anything out here. I don't need no trouble out of you, Ike. You steal my horses, and you don't want trouble from me. It ain't yours to decide. That land you're sitting on was mine. I only gave it to you because you promised to marry my daughter. You married your Seth, Ike. I had nothing to do with that. How the hell you say? You just gave up on her too easy. I should have taken that land back when I had the chance. Same with that old chief. I should have got rid of him when I could have. That's about enough out of you. His people killed and butchered my wife. Murdered with savages. Thomas's people had nothing to do with your wife's death. And you damn well know that. They're all the same. And then you became one of them. I'll never forget that. I'll never forgive it. And I pity you, old man. I'll get that land back from you. It ain't gonna cost me nothing to hear. You hear me? My boys, Zachary, why don't you get those packages out of the saddlebag? Uh, I got a little something for you, young uns. Hello, Father. Mary. Didn't expect you back from Lusk until after Christmas. Decided not to trail with the herd. Zachary, go get your grandpa's horse and put it in the barn, please. Hope you don't draw no blood from no one. That means your critter's probably carrying. No, oh, he's sound, Ike. Doesn't seem to have a lick of anger in him. That's the worst kind. Just waiting to go off. I'll make it a point to have Mary and the boys over to the ranch to see you soon. Well, that's not good enough. My daughter should be raising her sons to be cattle. That's their destiny. I did the best I could, Ike. 
You don't have the grit. See that he doesn't fight one of my grandchildren. Why don't you have her send kid outside? I'll be back through later. Another one empty. Samuel, do you think we'll ever catch anything besides stray dogs? I don't know. Just gotta be patient, I suppose. Let's cover up that trap. Ah! Zachary! Don't move. Is it bad? Don't see nothing missing. Promise you won't tell my pa. That was too close. I promise. I promise. But only if you set the others. Hey, hey, wait up, Samuel. Pretty for won't you? I'll treat her extra special. Your Janie's gonna love it. Got everything we need, John? Yep. That'll do it. Oh, Samuel, I've still got that skin and knife he's had his eye on all year. I'll let him know. All right, John, here we go. Dressed her up for me. And you keep that close to your heart. Your little one's gonna appreciate it. Give our best to the family, John. I will. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you.
John Red Eagle? Ma! Come quick! Why do you come here with soldiers to my home? Is John Red Eagle inside the cabin? My husband is not home now. What do you want with him? Ma'am, Federal Court and Cheyenne have determined that you are trespassing on private lands. I have received a notice of eviction order from the United States government instructing me to seize all your personal property and to escort you immediately to the Red Cloud Indian Agency outside Camp Robinson. I am further authorized to use all necessary force to carry out these orders. You are herewith served. I don't understand. When will your husband return? I'm not sure. She's lying. Sergeant Banks. Very well, then. I will give you two days to put your affairs in order. My father will fight you. Quiet, grandson. When my daughter's husband returns, then we will see the real truth. You threatening us, old man? Stand down, Sergeant. Thanks, now! We'll return in two days with a full escort. Your removal will take place as ordered by law. one bit. Let's get you to bed, okay? Come on. Oh. 
you're late. We found something we wasn't looking for. John Red Eagle's horses. We picked them up on the road, wandering a few miles back. They spent some time under their saddles. Seth, we gotta find him. You do the same for us. Yeah, okay. But Billy can't run the coach by himself. We got help. U.S. Marshal Myers out of Cheyenne, a deputy turner. You gotta pick up a fellow prisoner at Newcastle for trial. We can run the coach up that far for you. There'll be fresh drivers at the station there. Seth, we're wasting time. Yeah. All right, then. When? Zachary, you ride to the Red Eagle cabin, and you tell Sonny what's happened. And then you come straight back home. You understand? Yes, sir. OK, you be careful, son. I will, Pa. here many years under their laws. Uh, the white man has no place for the Indian people. Well, when John gets back, he'll make things right. I'm sure of it. Let us hope that he can fight the soldiers better with their own papers. It's Zachary! Samuel, where's your ma? The stagecoach came in with John's horses. He might be in trouble. My pawn and Buckskin Charlie went to go look for him. Zachary, are you sure? I don't know. I just came like I was told. I gotta get back. You need to find my father. You can ride your horse. Sam, I'm supposed to go home. I need your help. Okay. Charlie? Two sets of tracks. Fairly fresh. Where are we? I think we're near the old silver mine. Pa says I'm supposed to stay away from here. What was that? I'm not sure. My grandfather says a clan of spirit warriors used to live near the old mine. Spirit warriors? Let's get out of here. Nobody could survive a fall like that. Must have been dragged off. What do you mean, dragged off? Scavengers. Coyotes, wolves. God help them. Let's 
Let's keep looking. Getting cold, Samuel. Better make a fire. Let's gather some wood. Like someone spent some time here, all right. This way. Sir, you don't look like the law. I'm just looking for a friend. That fella we shot off his horse, cut his supplies loose. That crazy pack mare spooked and bolted, and that's a damn shame. Two fine horses like that. Let's just kill him, Frank. Thomas, we have a wounded man. found his head at the bottom of a ridge. Looked like he'd taken a terrible fall, but they didn't find him. Our sons are missing. What? I think they went looking after John. I told Zachary to go right home. It's okay. Ford's gone. It's, okay. it's getting dark, Seth. You better get after him. They won't survive the night out there alone. Take care of Billy. Please, hurry. I'll find him. find a way back. I think it's better if you just stay where we are. I'm scared, Samuel. It's okay to be scared. My grandfather tells me when I'm scared to find courage within my spirit. My pa tells me to pray. Does it work? I think so.
Better get some more wood. What happened? Where's the others? Mary, I found John's hat and some blood. What? It doesn't look good. Zachary and Samuel are missing. They went to look for John. Seth. I have a fresh horse and a fair idea where they might be. I'll have both boys back before morning. But they'll freeze to death by morning, Seth. I'm not going to let that happen, Mary. Trust me. I'll find him. Find who? Zachary and Samuel went to look for John. The Red Eagle boy. What's that half-breed doing with my grandson? For God's sake. It doesn't matter, Father. The boys are lost. They could die out there. Now, do you want to help Seth or not? Hurry up, Zachary. Okay, son. He didn't get me. Nicholas! Thank you, Samuel. Zachary would have done the same for me. I know. Nicholas! Nicholas! <laughs> Stitched him up best I could. He looks fine. Seth. I'm worried about Kit. He's running a high fever. Well, I'll take a look at him. I 
might be hey. scarlet fever. Hey. Don't worry. Mary. God won't abandon us. I'm gonna get a cool cloth. I couldn't stand to lose my pa. I thought you were gonna die last night. If Nicholas had a pelt. Samuel! Mother! Oh. You're sick. Thank you, great father, for answering my prayers. I couldn't find a ma. Samuel, I don't know what to tell you about your father. But whatever has happened, his spirit will be with us always. Zachary's brother kid is real sick. He is. You stay right here. Sonny. Yeah. Oh, I am so sorry about John. How's Kit? Not very good. I need to get the morning tea ready. I think Kit may have scarlet fever. Mary, are you sure? No, not really. We need to send for a doctor. Too bad about John. Somehow, I don't believe you feel that in your heart. Maybe none of this would have happened if he hadn't tried to steal my horses. My family has never taken anything from you. So now you will force us from our home? You could never survive in this country now without a strong man. Father, stop it! Why are you doing this? They have done nothing to you. These are our friends. And our neighbors. Well, they've become a problem. No, Father. You are the problem. Come on. I am so sorry. My father has gone insane with anger. Sonny. You need to get on that stage. 
go to the county recorder's office in Lask. He'll have the papers to prove that John's homestead is legal. Oh, what about Samuel and Jamie? They'll be fine with us. But I need you to do something for me. Please bring Dr. Babcock back with you. I will bring him back. Thank you. Go. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 All right. Good girl. <clears throat> Dr. Babcock? Yes? Pardon me. The Kellers need your help. Their little boy, Kit, is sick with fever. Were you exposed to the boy? No. I only spoke with Mary and Ike. Ike's out there? Yes. Mary's expecting you on the afternoon stage. Very well, then. Uh, let me just finish up here and then I'll be catching the stage. Thank you. Under the law, your family must occupy the new homestead uninterrupted for a period of five consecutive years. Well, the property won't become legally yours until December 31st of this year, one week from today. Otherwise, Property reverts back to Mr. Frank. But the soldiers will come tomorrow. We need more time, just, just a few more days. Well, it's signed by Chief Justice Stanley. You know, I'm... I'm really sorry about that. But there's nothing I can do to change that five-year occupancy requirement. It's the law. Maybe you could get somebody to stay on the property. It won't work. Please hurry. Kit's gotten worse since this morning. Did we have any luck? Mary, doctor's here. Oh, thank God. Please, he's in the bedroom. Well, let's take a look. This fever is awful high. Need to see if we can bring it down. He 
He's having trouble breathing because uh, he's drowning in his own fluid. Is there anything you can do for him? The fever doesn't break. I'm afraid he won't make it. No, 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 no. There has to be something you can do. You can't just let him die. Mary, get away from Mary. Get away from me. Where's your great God now? Leave me alone, Lana. For just a minute. The man in Lusk told me that we have good papers that show we own our home, but they may not be strong enough to fight the soldiers. Grandfather will never live on the reservation. Die first. I know. I'm angry at my grandfather for what he's doing to you. Samuel saved my life. We're best friends. Yes, you boys are friends. And don't let anyone ever take that away from you. Do you understand? Good. Now I'm going to go check on Kit. My grandfather might be able to help Kit. How? My grandfather knows many things about Mother Earth. He might have some good medicine. But it's getting dark. You might not make it back in time. Grandfather will know the way. All right. But you better hurry. Take my horse. Kit. I know you can hear me. You gotta get tough and beat this thing, son. We're all praying for you. <sighs> you took my wife and I'm gonna take my grandson. I'm sorry you're angry with me, Mary. I failed you and your father, my religion. No. Seth, your family, your friends, they still need your strength. I don't know how anymore, Sonny. Yes, you do. We all must pull together now more than ever. Thomas, thank you for coming. Please, come on in. Get that heathen out of here. We are out of choices. I Can't you see that? No, not this way. Father, my son is dying. He will be dead in a matter of hours. This is our last chance. Okay, Thomas, do what you can. Oh, God. I have brought medicine. 
medicine that my people have used for generations. Ask you, Creator. Please be patient. Do not take this young boy today. He is needed here. This young boy will be an important man one day. He will save many lives. He will do many good things. I will give him medicine through the night. At sunrise, we will know if it worked. Thank you for your trying. Grandpa? Grandpa? I'll be damned. We thought we lost you. Don't you ever scare me like that again. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I guess I'll forgive you. Just this one time. Kid. Kid. Dad. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> Too. Where is Nicholas? <laughs> Yeah. 
Far enough, Captain. John, ready for family inside? We're here to escort them to the Federal Reservation. We're not taking anyone anywhere today. I understand that, Mr. Keller. We're just doing our job. We're not looking for any trouble. Good. Then you and your men should leave peacefully. Damn it, Sergeant! I didn't issue an order to draw your weapon. Hold your fire, man. Toss it, Sergeant. Thanks. Thanks. All right. You heard what my son said. Our friends are staying put. I think you could be making a big mistake. I already made the big mistake. I'll see the proper papers are filed to relieve you of any dereliction of duty. Very well then, Mr. Franklin. Uh, I'll be expecting your statement. Let's move out. Leave it. Saddle a horse for Dr. Babcock. Hmm. There's a place set for you at the table, Thomas. I'd like it if you join us. Sir, every one of them on the first go round. Well, you can count the money, it's all there. Be in the boy, Daniel. I don't understand. Christmas present. And, uh, I don't want to see you anywhere near my place for the next week or two. But Mr. Frank, that goes for the rest of the crew, too. Well, what about you? Just make sure the rest of my stock gets fed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stock comes first. Daniel. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. Merry Christmas to you, too. It's a handwritten release of my interest in your homestead. I hope we can live together as neighbors.
more to say. Yeah, I wish I could do more. Then your spirit has been set free. As the season grew colder, more inclement, the pain became so <laughs> Supper's ready. Seth, will you say grace? Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessings on this Christmas day. We are truly grateful for you allowing our kit to remain here on earth with us. Give us the strength and courage to prevail during our times of trouble, showing us that by our faith in you, it will give us a new hope for our families to share. Bless this meal which we are about to receive, for it is nourishment to our bodies, as your word is to our souls. In your name we pray, amen. <laughs> 